Hi, I'm Janine Grover. I'm editor in chief of, of Blackman, Blackman Voice. Voice. And the Blackman Voice is the newspaper here at Blackman High School. We do a lot of articles on Teacher of the Year, um, Homecoming Weeks, uh, features on the clubs at the school. The highlight of reporting is probably the interview process. It gives you a really good foundation of. of getting those connections, being able to talk to people. My op-eds usually consist of stuff about women's or minority issues, and I feel like it's really important to write about those things. I feel like it's important to raise awareness to what's going on in our school. Uh, it's a great outlet if you're interested in photography of any kind. I got this perfect picture of these two football players, and their helmets were facing each other perfectly. And it makes you feel really accomplished, and we'd love to have you. I write articles and I also edit and assign articles for all of our sports reporters. Whenever news articles are written, they will come to me first for editing. I contact businesses as well as come up with ideas for fundraisers. I do a lot of making graphics for pretty much anything that we need that doesn't have a photo. A little bit of what I do is I manage the website. I have the job of translating those articles and make it in Spanish. The idea of making this newspaper in Spanish is to create variety and diversity on the school newspaper. And then I also manage the print editions that we do. It's really fun, it's really enjoyable. Definitely an artistic aspect to it if you're interested in design. Your ideas will really be welcomed by the staff. Hi, I'm Miss Walker. I will be your advisor on the Blackman Voice if you decide to join our staff. We are looking for sports reporters, news reporters, a business manager, and a graphic designer. Please come by my room, D9, to pick up an application, or you can also go on our website, blackmanvoice.net. Hope to see you soon. Good morning, Blackman. I'm Jared Kimbrough, and this is your Blaze Bulletin. We will have an Academic Courses Expo on January 27th during third period for all 9th through 11th grade students. The objective of this expo is to give you the opportunity to explore all elective and pathway options available before registration begins. Please use this time to explore the options, ask questions, gather information, and prepare for the upcoming registration. Your teachers have the schedule for this event, so check with them if you want to see when your hallway will attend during third period on Thursday. Anyone interested in playing football next year that did not play this year should attend an interest meeting on Wednesday during RTI in the auditorium. There is an award for those leading administration to the vandalism at school. See an administration for more information. Auditions for the 2022-2023 musical theater class will be held Wednesday during RTI and Miss Payne That was your Blaze Bulletin with Jared Kimbrough. Have a great day. Gang. Homecoming is going to be pretty cool. The game's going to be on Friday. It's going to be bonanza with some food and whatnot. I think you'd all enjoy coming out. You know, you should all go to the game. I'll be strolling out there in a tuxedo. It'll be pretty cool. Hello, my name is Eric Farmer. I'm with the Tennessee Student Assistance Corporation. We're the ones that administer the lottery scholarship, state grants, Tennessee Promise, any other type of state financial aid program you want to use to go to college here in Tennessee. It is FAFSA season, and it's very important to that seniors, you complete your FAFSA, especially by the March 1st extended deadline. In order to do that, you need to go to studentaid.gov, create your FSA ID, and then log back in and complete the actual FAFSA application. By you completing the FAFSA application, you're applying for Tennessee Promise, the HOPE Scholarship, the Federal Pell Grant, the State Grant, and other financial aid programs that you could use to further your higher education. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at TSAC, my email address, eric.farmer at tn.gov. Thank you. Hola, mi nombre es Michelle Loria. Yo soy reportera del proyecto escolar. En este momento estamos buscando personas que estén dispuestas a escribir en español. Eh, mi trabajo principalmente es escribir eh, artículos de estilos de vida, pero también noticias que suceden alrededor de la escuela. El propósito de esto es ayudar a aquellos estudiantes que no hablan inglés y permitirles y darles la oportunidad de entender y saber todo lo que está sucediendo a través del colegio. Um, si ustedes están interesados pueden venir al salón de 9 y buscar.
buscar también el website, el cual es theblogmanvoice.net.